Uh, good morning, my dear friends. Uh, I've been on for a while now. Uh, just recalibrating uh, to see how we can uh, get the ball rolling. I just stopped by this morning. Uh, uh, first of all, to extend my thanks and appreciation to all uh, the Spoon TV, uh, Stanton Water Spoon and the Spoon Team, Spoon TV family for the great job they keep doing for our country and uh, keeping our people informed and doing all they can to make sure that uh, the government of President Joseph Wakai be very assertive and productive and meet the hope and aspirations of the Liberian people who have given President Buaka and his team the mantle of authority to run our country. But uh, I just came by this morning to issue another form of caution. Uh, the caution is that uh, a lot of librarians do not want to discuss the main issue of our country. What is destroying the country and if we cannot focus on that we don't have a country number one I talk about the high literacy rate because over the years after Torbert who put his life and everything on the line to make sure that he curved the issue of high the high literacy rating he did all he could to establish viable educational institution, including multilateral high school that when students gra graduate from high school, you are job ready. And Torba did it because he saw the social and economic structure of Liberia with a high literacy rating and and if we did not do that, if he didn't start that process, he was looking at like 50 years ahead of him, what would have gone wrong with Liberia? Because you cannot run a country without people who are capable and qualified to run a country. You got a whole government, you got ministry, you got private corporations, you got every functionary of a government that needs qualified people who know what they're doing to sit in those offices and make the nation work. Especially our nation that came from a deadly 15 years long civil war with highly and electric nation, population. Young children used in the war drug to become animals to kill. So, when we're discussing the Liberian issue, we cannot forget about these issues. So, what I come back to say this morning, I just gave my piece of advice. Let us discuss behind the scene how to present issues. Especially the issue that going on with Omen Boakad administration. The old man is having trouble finding people to trust. 80 years old in contemporary Liberia. All of the people that Joseph Boaka knew, or most of his guys, all of them dead on. They are not no longer able to come in government with their qualification because they have passed uh, the stage of, 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 of working. Omen Boakad inherit a huge population of young, young war-weary Liberians who over the years they saw corruption people owning property with all a salary or means to own those property. Those young generations saw it from decades to decades. So, 
we cannot come to attempt to paralyze Omen Baga indirectly. Because the children in our street, you got, like I said last time, you cannot overlook the trouble that Liberia faced with a group that called themselves CDC. We can't overlook that group. That, that group is being powered by the highest electorate said that have affect our country. Children whose parents fought the war and born in some and then fought the war. That's the large group of people that follow CDC. So, all that if we cannot communicate, if we don't decide how to communicate to, 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 to pressurize Omen Boaga government, it will rather destroy the country further. That's what I think. The discussions, not bad, but we got to be careful to tailor the discussion in a way to protect and save that country because those children are time bomb. This group of sedition and young children in our street, they are a, a living time bomb that can extinguish that country in the second if we're not careful. The old man is traveling, he's not just traveling to go and raise money or to get profit or traveling benefits as a president. The old man is traveling to go and hustle for the country, for money while the people who are supposed to be helping keep on stealing. Because a old man knows that people would listen to him and help Liberia. That's the reason why he's traveling. So let us turn his traveling initiative into positivity and deal with those criminals that surround the president that are trying to, to make money out of the old man traveling. That's where our focus is supposed to go. The old man is traveling to hustle. You going to look for money. We need you see the road condition. We're going to the summertime. If we don't have the equipment to complete the road construction before the next rainy season, we're gonna go into another mess. So I think we need to encourage him and strike on those who we are aware that are corrupt in this government. The auditing committee got a report. We got people all ready to deal with. We need to put pressure to make sure that those that were brought forward in those reports from the auditing, let the government start to put pressure on them. That's the reason why I talked the last night about coming up with AKM Liberia, citizen action movement, to put a peaceful pressure that Mr. President, we will not leave from in front of the mansion until you make this decision. It got to be a neutral group. Not people who want to use violence as politics. Because the other side, <clears throat> the only politics they know to use violence. Because that all they know, that, that's their level, that's where they are. So we got to be careful. You know, small, you have done a great deal for our country and that's what uh, media is supposed to do but we need to stick, be careful because you got to know who you communicate to you can't go in the first in a second grade class and go and be high school lesson in a second grade class what you want for the children to do At least in, before you reach 12th grade, you already, if it is a good school, that the school that we attended, before we reach high school, we're already, at, you know, at familiar with university uh, lessons. University level, that high Benson Ray, uh, Frank E. Tower High School in Bento, that high West, that, before you reach in 12th grade, you already have done the first semester of University of Liberia. 
But we don't have that kind of system. It's been broken since the war. So we got to be careful how we communicate. Because people who, and now, God didn't have anything for us. God has shown people who now begin to, to, to run campaign for 2029 instead of trying to help the country government. So what do you think that means? So if we create an opening for them and provide some later inch of vulnerability for the Boaca administration, this guy is going to utilize it because CDC got educated people who know how to, to turn our whole country over with, with, with one pen, with one stroke of pen. And they are educated enough to be, and they are using no kids. We all see that. So I cautioned the last time, and I come back again. You know, not because you you buying clothes for your your wife and making her look nice and mean that you should beat her up for everything. It don't mean that. Oh yeah, I bought clothes for you nice. By the time she dresses, you gonna see one man look at you beating her up. And you know, that's the scenario. Not because you bought good clothing for your wife and you, you, you think she got everything, she got car, everything, mean to say anything she do, you should just uh, brutalize her. Go out to your house when you're locked in the night, when the children sleeping. Hon, that's something you did I don't like. And, you know, and if she's a good woman, a woman who wanna listen, when you approach her that way in her bed, something that you're doing, the children almost be sleeping. You did this. Oh, your dress, even though I brought you closer, you can look nice, but the way I see you carrying around other men, I don't like it. You got to protect your integrity. You know, and make her to understand what you don't like in a peaceful way. And the moment when a woman understands that you're respecting her and talk to her that way, fine. Because the reason why I'm saying this, Spoon TV, Stanton, this reason why I'm making because Liberia is a dangerous country. There are people who are around the president and around leaders who are turning around all the, the good thought that you're giving. Oh, Mr. President, you mighty man, they, 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 they after your government and this and that, how they're treating you like a child, you're not a child, and blah, 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 blah. That's Liberia. They're not going to be telling the president, oh, we got to listen to what Stanton is saying. We need to do this. But everybody that around the man fighting to steal money. Why do you think they want to go on travel? They're making all of these travel deals to go because they feel that that's an easy way to, to, to get money when you go and travel because it's legal to have travel here, especially. That's the mind. They are, they, they are the mind not developed. They are educated, but, not, but, but the mind not developed enough to utilize our education for the country. That's what's happening. Everybody's greedy. Look at the level of corruption that's going on. Everybody greedy. Everybody is screaming they're greedy. Everybody wants everything. And I always tell you people, we had a 15 years war. We have children who are as young as seven, eight years old that was ex combatant those ones that were up to 7 to 10 years old, if you add 33 years to 10 years old, calculate and find out what the ages of the people that are sitting in, in the Senate, in the very ministry, private corporation, what the ages? That the ages of those who fought the war. So meaning that you got people whose minds are destroyed from the war, from the war they got used to destroying and taking everybody's property, everything taken by force, and then they go to university of Liberia and go and acquire fake degrees that they can't protect, they can't defend, and they are in government to go there to see so the only thing they able to do to steal. So we got to consider all of these things. You need spoon, get a uh, 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 or what they call it, <clears throat> put a professional, highly educated, a uh, 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 social media past and present behind the scene for consultation. How to tailor the messages for the Omen Boaca government so that it cannot do more harm than good. Because I listen, 
I listen to everything. I listen to the argument. In my age now, I know everything that happened in Liberia. God allowed me to go to the war to, and, and they caused me to write a book about the war, what I saw. I wrote a book so that people can know what happened to Liberia. Because I know people, a lot of people don't, will not support it. That I know because I say, yo, yo, I don't care whether you support it or not. If one person reads it and it changes their life, that's what make, will make me happy. Because that's why I wrote a book for Liberia so that the generation unborn will read it one day and know what happened to that country. Because the, 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 the people who, the agitator, will never tell anybody what they did bad. People who does wrong will not tell other people that, oh, I did this wrong. No, Liberian people not like that. So it was good to write about the thing what I saw so that children can know the coming generation will know what happened to that country. It doesn't matter if you support a one person, two person support it, fine. Like I said, I didn't write both to get rich. I read book, I wrote book because the love of my country, what I saw that destroying that country up to now in all government offices, all the, the two houses of government. Why do you think they're running that way? Because these are people who got war mentality, they were never rehabilitated. We take them put them in the two houses, we take them put them in government ministry. You're not you 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 you, you fought a terrible war. You're not even traumatized, de-traumatized. Some of them, <clears throat> most of the children had to use spirituality and drugs. And all of them, the red dressing in cold soup. But under the cold soup, who is the guy that in that cold soup that passing right into an expensive vehicle? Who is he? That's the question we're supposed to be asking. We cannot put unnecessary pressure on the old man government because the old man is suffering for people who he can trust. So we need a far way to go after the people who causing the problem for the old man government instead of going after him. And I think the old man need to set up, since we got social media and everything, set up an advisory committee of members, of permanent members of the, 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 the community and, 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 and those that are, are, are part of social media platform. Let them be part of the, 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 the advisory committee where they can t the president can take a, a, a month time to meet with, with a team or advisor to talk about the country problem. Let's talk it behind the scene. Because those that listening in the public cannot process any of the information that, that coming from Spoon and coming from other us. They cannot process it. So we got to find a way to make Liberia work, the way how to make it is that to go beyond, consult people. My guy, this is a topic for today. This is what I have been. How can we present it? Let the, let the president open an opportunity that what people meet in one on one because because the people there are people who are waiting to listen to the worst thing of Bwaga government to use it against him. You got a lot of people. CDC is there. You can't overlook CDC. Because CDC got destructive, educated people who want to use those young children to do anything. People pushing joy, we have to come back 2029. Y'all want, what goal we have to come to can't tell you what, what, what's happening with our country? So I start by this morning to give my candid pieces of advice so that we can destroy our country thinking that we doing journalistic work. Journalists supposed to be smart enough to present us uh, uh, the, the information to the public, especially or uh, 90 percent highly electric pop public that we have. They cannot process information on their own. They can. They can process information on their own. So we gotta be careful how we spill the information to them. So I just advise him to conclude. I ask the spoon and other people when it come to advise, set up a system that your team can meet the president behind the scene.
I'm telling you, look, this is what's supposed to come in the public. Those that are receiving the information that you're giving to the public, do not, they are not able to process the information. All of them, because all of them targeting, target is towards violence. I'm not saying you're not doing, you are done as screen the well for our country. When you vote a man in office, it does not mean that you should pros go back in the public to prosecute that person. No, you can't do that. You can prosecute him one on one. <clears throat> old man, that's not what you, this thing what you're doing not correct. The old man came to the States, he's been frightening. Our team should have met him. The panelists could have met him and said, oh man, these are some of the things that we see going on here in America for a long time. The team, Spoon team, should have met him behind the scene to discuss some of what you're bringing in the public so that it can become dangerous to, the, to, the, to, the, to his government. That's why people don't like me. I don't give a freak who left me or who don't love me. I, I know God and Jesus love me for what I do. And there are some librarians who follow me and know what I'm saying, especially people from our age. They know what I'm talking. They know. And the fact that the contemporary group will not understand, they will be the, all the things he said, he won't be president. That all the thinking. <laughs> I went to library, I saw all of that. I said, I, I, I insulted someone. I said, don't bring a president nonsense to me. I didn't come to do that. I came to focus it to see how we can help the young children. Because if we cannot do, we cannot rehabilitate those children and take it for any street. Even the rusty one that who said that in the House Senate and in various ministry who can rehabilitate that, let's forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. So I just want to thank you for listening. Share this video. I want librarian to listen to it. Whether who like it, who don't like it, I have said my own. And everything I say, there all will be a proof to it. So may God bless Spoon TV and Stanton for the work that you're doing. But if we see it going wrong that will affect us. We got to talk about it. Other people, librarian people, they are good at sitting behind you to talk. Not few people like us will come up front to say it. No, they'll go behind you and destroy you. But me, I, I'm a preacher. I believe in God. I don't know how to honor my people. But I know how to what the scriptures say. If somebody your brother, advise him, caution him when you see a bullet coming, tell him there's a bullet coming, let him bend down. That's what Christians do. That's that part of the Christian principle. To advise with love. Spank your child and put him on your on your lap and tell him why you spank him. And don't let daddy spank you again. Daddy love you. Don't do this. It's not good. And tell the child why you spank him. Why is it not good? Children can understand more than us. And that's what it is. And that's circles, trouble through every aspect of our life as we live and grow and die. Thank you, have a blessed day. May God bless all the social media platforms, including the biggest one, which is Spoon TV. That God bless you and give you all the strength to come every day to talk about our country. This is my story, this is my song, this is who I am, this is it. I don't wait for people praises before I help people or advise people no i say the truth that's why i don't have a lot of friends because librarian people all the things i talk i know the people who sitting behind me and stereotyping me for what i say what i do the way i say when especially when i when I get mad you know every human being jesus said got mad and flocked people so what about me who the human being i can't get mad especially when i see my country being destroyed so thank you have a blessed day god bless you a dog, my dog, man. This is my movie, right? Cause, what's up, cause? Thank you, and have a blessed day. We'll see you again.